Aries, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Aries Tarot reading. Aries love tarot reading. Aries love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aries love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them, how they feel about you, how do you feel about them, what is going on in the connection, what is the next move. Let's take a look at the energy that is already coming in. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So this is a really healing energy. The Queen of Pentacles is like my protege to the Empress, can make really anything work, work what wasn't working. So kind of like resourceful, almost like repurposing it, trying to figure out how to make it better, actually. And it's coming here with the Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy, which is everybody showing up here. It's the two of you. It's a collaborative energy. It's a teamwork energy, Mars and Capricorn energy. And of course, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn and Saturn energy, divine number, divine timing, communication, growth. Of course, it's the pentacles, and that is around your relationship. And it's also around the commitment energy. Lots of healing energy here coming with our queen of pentacles, matters of the heart, new beginnings for sure. So something is going down, something is brewing. <laughs> I guess you could say something is growing. It looks like communication, if it's not already going on between you might be coming around some kind of timing issues. This is, these are both sliding off. The Two of Pentacles coming here back with the Queen of Pentacles. Look, wanting to be in the partnership placement, interesting. A lot of Capricorn energy already showing up here. The Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles Pentacles. <laughs> okay, so what's going on with the communication? I feel kind of tongue-tied. Coming here in reverse. So somebody's been having some trouble with commitment, some struggling energy. What is that around? Is this around just being afraid to commit? Is this a fear of the connection, maybe next level? Or is there another pentacle here in the connection, whether it's romantic, work, money, some kind of a balance? can be location, cultural, religious differences, something here that is putting this inability to commit or having trouble moving forward or put you where you are now is here on the table. So we'll take a closer look exactly what that is. The Three of Cups is showing itself along with the Six of Pentacles. They're definitely wanting to communicate and yeah, Three of Cups energy. Mercury and Cancer energy. Mercury, of course, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. This is a reunion energy. So it can be if you are planning to see your person, there's an opportunity to see your person that you may or may not know of. And this is where it's going to be happening. It's not going to be for everyone that it's in person because this is about communication in general. And Mercury is oftentimes connected to reading and writing. So it can be that this is via voice message, email, SMS, social media, however you normally communicate. It is a reunion energy and it does really look like the timing is lining up here for you and your person, the person you're here for today. Maybe it's somebody you weren't expecting just popping up, but I kind of feel like you know who you are here for. It's coming with the Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus energy, and this, of course, is a reciprocal energy. Somebody coming in here to give what? Well, we saw the Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles has come here twice to validate the healing that is necessary here. Also, your person coming in here in an emotionally available way, wanting to speak the truth. Something is wanting to reveal itself. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is how this is going here today. Yeah, so these are all revealing. It's also put us here where we are in the King of Swords in the bottom of the deck. This is what just wanted to come out. Very interesting. Six of Cups is wanting to be where your person's energy is the strongest Aries 
I'm holding here <laughs> Six of Pentacles right next to it. That is, of course, is 66, and that's telling me that your person is a little bit out of balance. And that's just not surprising at all because it's a validation to what we already see here. That's the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody who's having trouble possibly balancing work and love, work money. Maybe this involves a money situation. It could involve other connections romantically, but it can be even around external people that are not necessarily third parties in the sense that they're, it's not romantic, but you know, people that are involved. Interference, again, work, cultural, religious differences, distance, whatever that is, it's a strong validation that they're struggling around and it's affecting the two of you. And it looks like there's the energy is still here, but something is about to change because we're seeing the Queen of Pentacles coming in here want, wanting to make work what hasn't been working and coming here together, Three of Cups. So this is a reunion energy. It's celebratory. It's also telling me there is a soul connection here and it's a strong validation with the Six of Cups where your person's energy is the strongest Aries. Sun and Scorpio energy. This is also more reunion energy and telling me that they're thinking a lot about you. It's clear you're not talking at the moment. King of Swords wanting to reveal itself here in reverse, Gemini and Mercury energy. So this is the lack of communication that's been going on. But they're definitely thinking about you. And the reunion energy here is also telling me that there's some kind of planning going on. So whether this is to come together in person at an event, it can be for those of you that have the opportunity to see your person in person that it's around a particular event friends and family. It could be anything, of course, from a barbecue to a wedding, a party, a graduation, in particular, as if you're here in real time, we're coming up here at that time of year. Speaking of which, I'm just realizing your reading is like, I'm here, it's going. So I'm just going to be quick here and mention that I'm channeling for you in March 2024, Aries. And you could be here in real time, but you could also be here many months and years later. And that's because this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. It's a faded connection. It means there's a message here for you. So welcome again. Also know that all your Aries Zodiac readings, all your playlists are below in the description, as are all 12 Zodiac signs. You'll also find all signs tarot readings. Those are collective love readings, love readings for the collective. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings below. So feel free to explore. Remember, this is a general tarot reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Always take what resonates. Let the rest go. And I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps to keep the channel moving so I can continue to bring you readings. So thank you so much for that. Okay. <laughs> so I had to get that out of the way because your reading is just really wanting to move fast here today. Again, high probability here of seeing your person should you have that opportunity to do so. And it could be very much the case here as we see with the Six of Cups that they're kind of planning this reunion and there is an element of surprise that's coming here. They are thinking a lot about you now. The soul connection is very clearly here. It can be for some of you. You've known your person also for many, many years going into chronological years, you know, childhood or just for a long time. But I know that won't be for everyone. That's also the soul connection coming through. A strong validation of that here with the Six of Cups as well. The soulmate energy here is quite strong. And it can be, of course, for those of you on a twin flame journey, well, it is. That energy is here, I should say, if you're on a twin flame journey. And yeah, your twin flame can also be a soulmate. So just a little side note there. Also coming down, coming down with your Six of Cups was the Ten of Wands in reverse. Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. So what has been keeping you from coming together? It's a lightening of that load now. So whatever has been around... Well, yeah, the, the stressful energy of not talking, not communicating. Something here is about to lighten up and change here in our Ten of Wands today. Jupiter and Sagittarius energy, we're seeing a lion. That's interesting. This is a Sagittarius energy, but I'm, it's also connecting here. Of course, there's kind of Leo energy coming in. But there is a new cycle, the end of 
end of a cycle, completion of a cycle, which is this one right here, and a renewal coming. The timing seems to be playing a part here. It could be for some of you that, yeah, somebody was ready, somebody wasn't, somebody was available, somebody wasn't. And I do have to say, I think that's on your person's side. And we also see that that is getting worked out here. Of course, this forms an eight, and that is an action number. And that's also, of course, bringing in some karma. And infinity, infinite. And of course, again, around twin flame energy for some of you, but that's also just a particular kind of love, you know? I love you to infinity. A strong connection. And truth, balance, and renewal here. So whatever has been, whatever's been overwhelming here, whether it's, the fear of moving forward. There's something, another, something here they haven't been able to really choose between or balance out. Just out of balance has been a really clear message here. It looks like that is getting worked out. And again, that reciprocal energy here in the Six of Pentacles. And it is, of course, I mean, it's around the Pentacles. That's the commitment energy. Your relationship. So I want to get this last... Last movement here, <laughs> because your reading was just like, I'm ready. It's coming down now. So it just revealed the world card in reverse. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. Look, and it's catty corner here with the two of pentacles in reverse. So that is what has been keeping things from not moving here. This is an unfinished energy. This is telling us that there have literally, look at this, been delays in... Your connection, you could say the movement literally physically for some of you coming together, but also just coming together, talking again. Something that has been very much in, I, w I don't want to say in the way, so much as something that has been really overwhelming things here when this Ten of Wands was in the upright, because this is Sagittarius energy. And Sagittarius is the planet of expansion and prosperity, hopeful energy. You could say luck, of course. I always think of that as timing, and that does connect with the Wheel of Fortune as well. So Wheel of Fortune energy for sure. And that was not moving here. Everything was not expanding. You were not communicating. Things were not feeling very hopeful. I don't know that they totally are yet. And some timing issues completely directly connected to why things have not been moving here. This is divine number. Divine timing, communication, growth, the lack of all of that, not communicating or not communicating well, things not moving, karmic, literally, debt still needing to be paid, obstacles still in the way, the lack of the completion of where you're going here in this energy. I mean, you can see it. They're really nostalgic. They're thinking a lot about it and thinking about when things were easier and also just what's been going on in general and... The Five of Cups energy right on the back of the Six of Cups, which of course is feeling a lot of regret for how, how things were handled, how they left things, really wanting to communicate. And again, for some of you, this is coming together in person. There is a healing energy and a communicative energy. So whether that's moving to, toward more, two things finally completing in terms of, yeah, it could even be some marriage stuff that was going on here that was where you were heading something around obviously around the commitment and something happened there that something changes in that effect too let's see if this is just around communication or if there's more <laughs> excuse me i want to show you what's coming in here at the bottom of the deck the ace of cups in the chariot okay cancer pisces scorpio energy of course, and Cancer energy in the moon, the chariot, there's there's something about to change here. This is the movement. This is the action they're taking. It is going to change everything. Again, it's a strong energy of if, if you are able to see your person, or maybe you're even expecting it, or you're able to, but you won't be expecting it, because it could be this element of surprises here, that you're going to be seeing them, because there is some physical, actual travel here for some of you. That's also just around the communication. This is the moon energy. And that's, of course, around a lot of emotions and a very revealing energy. So revealing a lot of what's been going on, how they feel about you, what's, what's going on now, where things are going. So the communication here is very clearly coming. 
again, whether this is in person or not. And look what they're coming here with, the Ace of Cups. Is this some kind of offer? Is this something to do with what was kind of cut off or not working and now they're coming in here with that? Because yeah, this can be around marriage proposals. I know that's not gonna be for everyone. Proposals are new beginnings. It's a new cycle here. We see them coming in with something. It's looking suspiciously like they're wanting to come together here and start something or they're ready to take another move, whether it's bringing in life, you could say, into a family, into your connection, taking it to another level, whether that's as big as marriage, moving in, could even be just let's talk, let's talk again, let's see each other. For some of you, maybe for the first time, if that's possible, there's definitely movement here in the way of, yeah, this is more than just, hey, hi, I'm touching bases. <laughs> this is I'm ready now and I'm coming in. Yeah, and again, there is some element of time here. I don't know if that's just around your person's ability or inability to either physically move or just be able to move forward in the connection. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What else do our Aries need to see today? Aho. Excuse me. Queen of Cups. Yeah, look at this healing energy. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups. There are so much emotional energy here. This is not finished. <laughs> this is not finished. And it looks suspiciously like, look, seven of swords in reverse. And that's too many there. Suspiciously like your person here is, well, yeah, they're, they're not only coming back in here to communicate. Seven of swords coming here with our three of cops is telling me that there is an apology, first of all. So they are communicating an apology. But I think this is more than an apology, Aries. And again, it could be in person. The Queen of Cups, Cancer energy, a really healing energy, healing literally the connection here. Also right here with the Queen of Pentacles. So making a new beginning. I, I it's like better than before. The Seven of Swords, obviously there was some trouble caused here. Aquarius and Uranus energy. And I just want to show you the energy. Some dishonesty here. For some of you, there may have been some betrayal in the way of romance, but this can also just be around not sharing how they feel. Again, interference. Maybe you could even say kind of making the wrong decision. Whatever the case is, whatever this Seven of Swords did, they changed everything. This Uranus energy, not communicating. We saw that in the King of Cups. or not communicating well. Again, running from the communication, the truth, I feel also from the connection, this is a return here and it's making amends. So they're not only, are they in their feels for you here? Planning some, some kind of strategy around communicating with you, but they're coming in with an apology too, a really healing, sincere apology. Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords in reverse. This is a really sincere apology here. I really like this a lot. Look at all the healing energy here of the crystals. <laughs> That's also really nice. And again, this element of timing, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. They have definitely assessed the situation. That's what they're doing here in the Six of Cups, but they're also in a lot of feelings for you. The soul connection is really strong. And again, it, it's not finished here. Are they coming in here with this making this decision finally six of swords things are moving and that's what it's been around okay so this is why so the knight of pentacles in reverse here with the seven of swords in reverse very very strong connection here of you could say not following through there's an, there's some other again pentacle this is yours too. What is that pentacle here in the two of pentacles? Is it just indecision? Is it not being able to balance out their life properly? Is there interference? Is there another connection? That is the lack of the follow through here in our Virgo ruled by Mercury energy here with the seven of swords. So this is quite literally what they're wanting to apologize about, what they're wanting to heal here. The queen of cups and right in between the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups, because this is also 
what they're thinking about, when things were easier. Also, the regret for how they handled things. It's right here. He came in also with the Six of Swords, Mercury, and Aquarius energy. And that's the communication moving again. That's this time that I feel like there's not quite communication, although there could, could be some signs of it. And for those of you that are, again, able to see your person, it could be that there's some movement in that way that you're hearing about an event. You know that you might see them there. Again, I don't think it's in person for everyone because there is also an element of long distance here. But the Six of Swords, this is, things are moving again here. And again, the Six of Swords is here right next to our Six of Cups. And that's bringing in that energy again of being out of balance. So it's a matter of this, Two of Pentacles in reverse. And we see the struggling energy of making a decision balancing something out in their life, they're, st they're still working on it, and it's a strong validation with the Four of Pentacles, but boy, is there a lot of healing energy here. It's definitely not over for them. There's just still, whether this is a karmic situation or not, there's still something here that's slowing it down. They haven't let you go. Four of Pentacles, Sun and Capricorn energy. They're just still untangling something, you could say. They're definitely wanting a long-term energy here. They're this is, I feel, with you. It's not finished. Again, they haven't let you go. This Four of Pentacles is right in between the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. And the emotional energy here, well, that's far too many, <laughs> is really, really strong. Whoa, okay. So that's also too many. Just a minute here, guys. There's like a huge stack here. I need to recalibrate. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What else does Aries need to see, Aho? Interesting, the recalibrate energy. The devil in reverse and the ace of swords, yeah. Something here as being, you could say, changed, removed, released, detached from. It's the devil energy. Also, their ego and the apology is here. They know. Look at the clarity. Look at the clarity. The, the devil in reverse. More Capricorn energy. Capricorn and Saturn energy is in reverse. So whatever has been causing this element of kind of struggling, being overwhelmed, it may not be a commit another commitment to a person at all. Of course, it could be a lot of things, a commitment to another contract, okay? It, we can't even be talking about location moves, work and money, breaking work contracts, that sort of thing. It could be a lot of things, other people, but we see Bringing in the, the devil energy is also telling me that this can be around somebody who their attachment is, let's just say, into some vices. You know, there's some obsessive energy, some possibly some addictive behavior. Whatever has been going on here in this minor arcana, your first energy coming in here and the two of pentacles in reverse, you see also in the ten of wands that that is lightening up and the healing energy is coming in. They're still untangling it. And this is the clarity that they have. This is... Literally, something has changed here. It's the detachment from that, and it's also bringing with it an apology. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is, the, this is getting out of their head. This is the mental clarity, and there is this energy of just kind of coming out of nowhere for them, getting this information or something having changed here for them, but also bringing it to you. The Swords, of course, are transactional, you know, their communication, their truth, their, it's information. That is far too many. Okay, the Ace of Cups is back and the Three of Swords is the bottom of the deck. Strong validation, really sincere apology here, Aries. The apology energy is very strong. Ace of Cups came back, Two of Swords in reverse. They're still working it out. It's an indecision energy. It's strong emotional overload here. Ace of Cups is coming in again though, so we know that this is what this is around. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, a lot of emotional energy also around your love. Some This is wanting to, they're trying to Whatever this is, complete change, release, detach from, and they're not just, they're coming in here with a very sincere apology. That much is very, very clear because this affected 
this Knight of Pentacles energy of kind of not following through, not being in the partnership, not being, you could say, not doing the work, really. And that's also the lack of humility coming through there. So it was not having apologized, not really being that reliable, not being able to count on your person. So what they're wanting to do here is not just a pop. This is a sincere apology. It's a lot of healing energy. They're wanting to see and or talk to you again. What is your situation? But it's offering more. And yeah, also coming through is the Page of Cups in reverse. And this is kind of around the breakup energy. Also coming here with the Two of Swords in reverse. So yeah, there's a lot of indecision and overwhelming energy here around both how they feel about you and whatever else has been going on that is getting removed, changed, released, detached from. And again, that apology is also coming around that. They're literally sending this through. I, ha I haven't let you go. This is not finished for me. I hope it's not finished for you. I'm trying to untangle this. I'm trying to work this out. I have... I'm, I'm hearing, I love you, I love you. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, just slow down a minute here. I have a lot, I have a lot of feelings for you. A lot of feelings for you. I, I have not let you go. I really want to see and, and or talk to you because it really is going to be different for everybody else. Ace of Cups coming again twice and here now with the Ace of Swords as well. I'm really clear what I want. I'm clear what I want. I need some time. I'm trying to work this out. But please know I'm sorry. I still need to work this out. The world card in reverse. So whatever is being changed, removed, you could say that's causing a lot of this stagnation and has made things not moving again. The minor arcana energy of the Ten of Wands with the devil in reverse is we know that that's a strong energy of movement, of things Things about to change here. The element of surprise is really strong again. So whether you are able to see your person in person or this is just communication, it is coming through. <laughs> and again, there's some timing around it. So and we saw that in the chariot as well, whether this timing is around and it came with the ace of cups. So whether it's around the actual traveling especially here with our three of cups telling us that it could be an actual location or of course it's just the traveling of the communication and the message but more validation of this apology which feels really sincere to me it's the three of swords in reverse saturn and libra energy so what happened here in the connection of course this is around the heartbreak energy and the loss like the dismantling and it's also the lack of clarity in the relationship, the lack of truth. We see that in the Seven of Swords coming back in here. And they are aware of this too. You know, this what they're remembering here in the Six of Cups is not just, oh, it's, it was wonderful and I'm thinking about you. They are thinking about that, but they're, they also know, look at the energy around here of what they did and what they need to do, the healing that's necessary and how things need to move again here in the Six of Swords, the transactional energy. And actually, I want to move this here. This is definitely a very sincere apology, Aries, and I feel like it's a lot more. So whether this communication, this apologetic energy is in person or via message or phone calls, however you normally communicate, I do feel like there's a lot more underneath that. There really There is an energy of wanting to heal this connection. They're really missing you, and they are definitely very sorry. I, I really like that energy. Oracle, I'm not reading it in reverse at the moment. I just want to move the energy here in your, as we are hearing Hi, your voice. <laughs> I was just talking and talking. I saw that I, after I put the three of swords in reverse down, I was talking a little bit more about this apology, how sincere it is. And then I think this is a lot more. It's like testing the waters energy here too. And it's, again, a really strong energy of humility and, and apologies. There's This is not finished though. It's a very strong soulmate connection. In any case, I just brought in your oracle, was just kind of getting the energy, moving some more shuffling, letting you know that I'm not reading it in reverse. 
and we want to see what else is coming through. So I don't think you missed anything with that camera turning off, but that does make me crazy. <laughs> Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What else does Aries need to see? Aho. That's it. Potential. It's a big old seed here. Look with the roots taking root. Something foundation here it's grounding it's growing it's building roots it's putting roots down it's you can see it coming up here from the seed and it's right in front of the sun one of the best places to be which is of course around here leo energy and source the end of a cycle of renewal here a chance the potential for what's going on so yeah there is a lot of potential here for this relationship to restart to move again somehow whether that's just communication or more and it is really dependent on this apologetic energy that's come in really really strong from the get-go and whatever is around this devil in reverse and in this two of pentacles in reverse that they're trying to work out here you know there's some kind of compromise two of swords in reverse that i feel like in a decision that they were having trouble making then that they're still trying to figure out, but you could also see that's the that's the this the direction that they're heading in. Literally, in the chariot energy is moving out of whatever this karmic energy is here and coming in with this healing energy. Again, I'm working this out. I haven't let you go. There's the wisdom coming in with the owl. Just an FYI, an owl is a Scorpio. Zodiac wise. And of course, that's the wisdom here, the information, the downloads connected to the divine. Also, a very strong transformational energy, inner transformations here. And, you know, they kind of work behind, look at that, they kind of work behind the scenes. So I do feel there's some strategy here, whether it's at an actual event or it's just how they're what they're how they're going to contact you or what they're trying to say because it came in really early for me they're kind of like fumbling on their words a little bit here so there's the direction also look bringing in the death energy that scorpio energy coming back here and that's the other thing their ego this is letting go of that ego coming in in a much higher vibe first of all second chance energy and it's also telling us that whatever it is here that they're needing to change, release, detach from, that does need to happen before things are moving. It's right, wanting to be right here between the two of pentacles in reverse and the devil in reverse. Rising above, there you go, <laughs> conflicting energy. And whatever conflicts have also, what's keeping them from making, I feel like this really big decision, intuition, Direction came here, too, with the wisdom energy of knowing. It's bringing in, of course, high priestess energy, intuitive energy, also bringing in the hierophant. So it's bringing in the hierophant and the high priestess energy. That's interesting. The two of you coming together. Maybe you, some of you do share some friends and family. Maybe not, but also the spiritual guidance. But trying to figure out where to go from here energy in this direction, you know, there, these rock stacks are very, you know, zen and meditational. We also, I see them a lot here in the Austrian Alps and hikes. And people literally kind of put them there so that when they go off wandering, they can come back and see where, how to get back home. So finding your way back to each other. Queen of Cups, healing energy, intuition, a very strong, intuitive, instinctive animal, the bear powerful too and also coming out of some kind of hibernation if you are watching this in real time on the northern hemisphere <laughs> it's not going to be for everybody but the intuitive energy is really strong in this decision and really where they're I feel being pulled to and what they need to do here and the apology is just super super clear again I feel like it's a lot more time look earth mother and time so this is bringing in high priestess energy time the moon Drifting, 
balance. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot because it's very clear that they had been. This is both around drifting. Let's, well, yeah, here. The emotional unavailability, the emotional, the lack of, let's say, the vulnerability here, the lack of the truth, all of that. Because this is high priestess energy, and we have the queen of pentacles, who's kind of like my protege for the high priestess. And now she's showing up here. Divine number, divine timing, communication, growth. Also coming in here with the truth. Really super sincere apology, Aries. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. And the feeling of opening up emotionally too has been really, really strong here. How they feel about you. The drifting emotionally, again, look also this boat here on the water. It's about direction. It's also the divine. It is bringing in the divine timing energy. And we're also seeing that here with the timing. It's interesting. So I'm wondering too, if this is just somebody keeps turning this over, has something changed in your life? Has something changed that there's like we're running out of time energy. But then, again, it's been really strong. So whether somebody's available, somebody's not, somebody's ready, somebody's not. Because here with these little things, <laughs> hourglass, <laughs> you can turn them over, you know? I mean, it's tiring. And that's the other thing. It's like the Ten of Wands is in reverse. Let's get this moving again. That's the Jupiter energy. And, it, and that brings in that energy of luck, you know? Um, which, I uh, again, is around some timing. So I don't know if there's some timing that's running out because this is also the direction that you're going and it's on the divine and it's an emotional energy and it's also around your love. But, you know, it's also the lack of communication and what they have been holding back and I do feel like that is changing. The mysteries being revealed look quite literally also more energy of the high priestess coming through and the intuitive energy really strong the decision they're making toward you and also a decision that obviously you're making around this connection and there's the moon energy bringing in pisces also gemini and cancer and the revealing energy and this is also communicating and opening up in a new way and also revealing the mystery because look there's the same boat who's been drifting and here it is kind of up on land now and it has a big old palm tree in it with the roots. It's like there is an element of time with that as well because it needs to be in the ground. And we saw the potential for that here, look. And we see a lot of that is around the balance energy. There's a lack of balance and it's all around whatever this other connection, contract, again, whether it's a person, money, work, and decision until that's getting worked out. That's a big part that's playing here, but we also see the balance coming. I really like that. And that's also, of course, connecting to our justice energy, to Libra and Venus energy. Truth, balance, and renewal. The Empress has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire, and can create and grow anything, abundance, new beginnings, matters of the heart, really strong. Here's the pomegranate here as well. And we see that as what's on their mind. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups coming down here twice. There is some element of time, too, that I feel like is not just about who's moving, who's available, who's not, who's ready or not. There's something here, this decision that they're either slow in making or they've made it, but it's taking long to sort of untangle something here. Okay, Aries, I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. That's a lot that they want to say. We are destined to be together. And look at the roots here also on this balance energy. Because the lack of balance has been coming through and now it's coming through. That, that is the direction that we're heading. A lot of the commitment energy and taking root. So again, for those of you that this is around an, a location, maybe even some moving, 
that is an energy that is strong and, and whether or not it's just even around moving for everybody here just the commitment energy the roots the building something here you are my other half also here with the clarity soulmate energy twin flame energy actually i want to put this here with our six of cups who's got who got a little buried we have a deep soul connection i miss you i spy on you that's page of swords energy that's telling me that they're watching <laughs> so whether this is in ways that if you're connected on social media or they have any way to see so whether it's that in that respect or it's even through friends and family if you are connected and they're able to talk to other people i do feel like they're talking to other people anyway but this added element of kind of finding a way to get access to you and what you're doing and yeah, it could be that they're seeing or hearing something too. And this element of time is really strong too, of, of like things have to, yeah, they need to make this decision here. Something's going on there. We are one. Our love is eternal. I wished on a star tonight. Putting this here with your Ace of Cups. We know that this stuff here, this making peace energy is really strong. There's a really sincere apology here, but again, what else is in that cup? I feel like it's a lot more. I love you. And that was coming through really very early on. These three are connected. Divine number, the last three. You radiate light. I need time to heal. Queen of Cups. Queen of Pentacles as well. Look, I'm putting this here with time. Have they already reached out for some of you, maybe? Because I'm feeling that energy maybe from you. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I kind of feel like I want to bring in a few more, another deck. I don't know how to fix this. Yeah, this is whatever that that we see is going to be changing. Death card, devil in reverse. Something is changing, releasing, moving, decisions being made. It's just, there's an element that it's undulate, you know, like some things have to move here maybe a little bit faster. Okay. I want to see what's going on here because there was this feeling I had to grab these last two. Please forgive me. It's the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Three of Swords in reverse. We were meant to meet. You are my person. You are my person. The clarity here in the Ace of Swords. Also, the owl was just staring me down. <laughs> I was stupid. Do you still love me? I love you. Do you still love me? Your last channel love message, message from their higher self fairies. There is so much left unsaid. Yeah, this is definitely not finished. Most definitely. Aries, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet, watching videos, sharing them, liking them. Of course, subscribing helped to keep the channel moving so I can continue bringing you reading. So thank you for that. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another reading. Until then. Fires.